Good morning. Welcome to all of you here, and welcome to those participating over the internet. Uh, today and the next two Sundays, our youth faith formation meets, and then adult Sunday school begins after worship in the lounge. Sunrise is this morning, so if everybody wants to go down and grab something to eat or drink, um, the uh, adult faith formation meets in the lounge, and the kids meet in the blue room today. Um, we give thanks for the reign of Queen Elizabeth and ask God to protect, lead, and guide the new leadership. And I'd like us to take a moment to pause in remembrance of those who died in the 9-11 attack from um, 2000, right? 2001. Let's just take a moment to pause. And also a moment of pause and remembrance and intercession for all those who continue to help with healing and the way forward. And let us pray. God of all creation, Hear our cry for all people of the world to have an encounter with Christ that transforms their hearts and minds to your reign of justice, peace, and love. When we are lost, search for us and find us. Enable and empower us to bring about your reign of righteousness here and now in this time and place through Jesus Christ our Lord in the power of your Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Today, for the gospel reading, you will hear the gospel presented in four different ways, um, and I will talk a little bit more about it when we get to that part. After the second reading, we usually sing the Alleluia, and, and you stand. Um, if you want to stand, that's fine but I'm gonna ask you to sit after the Alleluia is done. So you can do either way, just because of the way we're presenting the gospel today. So with that, welcome to all of you. Glad you made it here and the rain kind of stopped so you could get in without getting drenched. And uh, we open with um, God forming and shaping us with the prelude, preparing our hearts and minds for worship. Wonderful Savior, I know for sure, all of my days are held in your hand, crafted into your perfect plan. You gently call me into your presence, guiding me by your Holy Spirit. Teach me, O oh Lord, to live all my life. by your holy calling set me apart I know you're drawing me to yourself lead me Lord I pray take me mold me use me fill me I give my life by your holy calling set 
set me apart, I know you're drawing me to yourself. Lead me, Lord, I pray. Take me, mold me, use me, fill me. I give my life to the Father's hand. Call me, guide me, lead me, walk beside me. I give my life to the Potter's hand. Take me, mold me, yes, use me, fill me. I give my life to the Potter's hand. Call me, guide me, lead me, walk beside me. I give my life to the Potter's hand. We now are in the ELWs, the red worship books. We're going into setting eight for this season. The Confession and Forgiveness is found on page 94 we'll, not through 96. We will be using the right-hand side. Please rise as you're able. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God who forgives all our sin, whose mercy endures forever. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Gracious God, have mercy on us. We confess that we have turned from you and given ourselves into the power of sin. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things we have done and things we have failed to do. Turn us again to you and uphold us by your spirit so that we may live and serve you in newness of life through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. God, who is rich in mercy, loved us even when we were dead in sin and made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. Almighty God, strengthen you with power through the Holy Spirit that Christ may live in your hearts through faith. Amen. Our entrance hymn this morning is Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing, number 807. Thou fount of every blessing, tune my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy never ceasing, call for songs of loudest praise. While the hope of endless glory fills my heart with joy and love, teach me prove. 
Here I raise my Ebenezer, hither by thy help I'm come, and I hope by thy good pleasure safely to arrive at home. Jesus sought me when a stranger, wandering from the fold of God, he to rescue me from danger, interposed his precious blood. Oh, to grace a great a debtor, daily I'm constrained to be. Let that grace now like a fetter, bind my wandering heart to Thee. Praise to wander, Lord, I feel it, prone to leave the God I love. Here's my heart, oh, take and seal it, seal it for the courts above. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. in the world, for the health of the church, for the unity of all. For this holy house, for all who worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie. That we may live out your impassioned response to the hungry and the poor. That we may live out truth and justice and grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie. For peace in our hearts, for peace in our homes, for friends and family. For life and for love, for our work and our play, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison, on our world and on our way. Kyrie spirit to guide that you center our lives in the water and the word that you nourish our souls with your body and blood let us pray to the lord let us pray to the lord Kyrie.
precious wisdom and strength and honor, blessing and glory are his. This is a feast of victory for our God, for the Lamb who was slain has begun his reign. to God and the Lamb forever. Amen. This is the feast of victory for our God, for the Lamb who was slain has begun his reign. Alleluia. Please join me in the prayer of the day found in your bulletin. O oh God, overflowing with mercy and compassion, you lead back to yourself all those who go astray. Preserve your people in your loving care that we may reject whatever is contrary to you and may follow all things that sustain our life in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. The first reading is from the book of Exodus, chapter 32, verses 7 through 14. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once. Your people whom you brought up out of the land of Egypt have acted perversely. They have been quick to turn aside from the way that I commanded them. They have cast for themselves an image of a calf and have worshipped it and sacrificed to it and said, These are your gods, O Israel, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I have seen this people, how stiff-necked they are. Now let me alone, so that my wrath may burn hot against them, and I may consume them, and of you I will make a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord his God and said, O Lord, why does your wrath burn hot against your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians say, it was with evil intent that he brought them out to kill them in the mountains and consume them from the face of the earth? Turn from your fierce wrath, change your mind, do not bring disaster on your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, your servants, how you swore to them by your own self, saying to them, I will multiply your descendants like the stars of heaven and all this land that I have promised I will give to your descendants and they shall inherit it forever. And the Lord changed his mind about the disaster that he planned to bring on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm will be read responsively. Psalm 51, verses 1 through 10. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. In your great compassion, blot out my offenses. Wash me through and through from my wickedness. Cleanse me from my sin. For I know my offenses, and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. You are justified, speak, and right in your judgment. Indeed, I was born, steeped in wickedness, a sinner from my mother's womb. Indeed, you delight in truth deep within me, and would have me know wisdom deep within. Remove my sins with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be purer than snow. Hear joy and gladness, that the vow that you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my wickedness. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Our second reading is from the first letter to Timothy, 
chapter 1, verses 12 through 17. I am grateful to Christ Jesus our Lord who has strengthened me because he judged me faithful and appointed me to his service, even though I was formerly a blasphemer, a persecutor, and a man of violence. But I received mercy because I had acted ignorantly in unbelief, and the grace of our Lord overflowed for me with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. The saying is sure and worthy of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, or whom I am the foremost. But for that very reason I receive mercy, so that in me, as the foremost, Jesus Christ might display the utmost patience, making me an example to those who would come to believe in him for eternal life. To the King of the ages, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. matters to each and every one of us. Stories and songs shape our lives. They uh, help us to know who we are and what God calls us to. They also have ways of telling, uh, give, uh, giving us glimpses of who God is. The gospel parable today shares with us that glimpse of God who is tender, merciful, and loves relentlessly pursuing the one who is lost. Jesus sees each, each of us, each individual, and invites others to join him in seeking out those who are missing. Hearing stories and songs in a variety of ways and from different perspectives often offer us a deeper, richer, perhaps, understanding of God, who God is, and what God calls us to be. Today we have four different ways that we are going to present the gospel. I invite you to listen to each of the four and watch what jumps out at you, what captures your attention. Our first uh, enactment will be a script that Milt, Milt wrote based on today's gospel, and it will be presented by our puppets. So you'll need to kind of just focus over there a little bit as we get going here. And it's uh, the Reynolds family that is acting out uh, the puppets, Karen and Mike, and their two grand uh, sons, Logan and Lucas, and then Tony Ellison is helping also. Then the second enactment will be a reading um, from Howard Thruman that Dan will read for us. It's a sermon that he did from the perspective of a sheep. Then I will read the original gospel story from the scripture. And then our fourth one will be done by Milt, Rick, and um, Laura and Matt Phillips in our, and you'll join in on the refrain. It'll be a song lost and found. So hang on to your hats. Oh wait, you don't have hats. Okay, just, here we go. We'll start with our puppet enactment. Puppeteers, you ready? Oh yes, there they are. Say hello. Hello, Hello, puppets. Thanks for coming today. All right. Narrator. Have you, have you ever spent time looking for lost items in your life? Have you ever felt that you yourself were lost in life? Hear what Jesus says in today's gospel. Now all the tax collectors, sinners, and dishonest people were complaining to each other. Why does this Jesus pay attention to these sinners? Yes, he even eats with them. 
It's a shame he has to hang around all these bad people. So he told them this parable. Listen, everyone. If you had a hundred sheep and one got lost, wouldn't you want to look for it? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Even though you had to leave the 99 behind for a while? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. But when he finds it, he carries it home and everyone is so happy. Look, I found my lost sheep. Aren't you happy about that too? Yay, Yay you're, you're back. back. You're, you're okay. okay. Welcome, Welcome home. home. Yes, let's all rejoice. The lost is found and the other sheep are safe too. Hooray! Then he told them another story about a woman who lost one of her gold coins. I lost one of my big important Lego pieces last night. I looked everywhere with my flashlight and broom. Guess where it was? Under your bed? My sister found it. My sister found it under her dollhouse. The boy called all his family together and told them of his good fortune. Look, everybody, now I have my Legos so my friends can come over and play with me all day. So, all the angels in heaven rejoice when the lost are found. Hooray! Yay! Yay. Hooray! Thank you, Lord. This is a 1951 sermon by theologian and mystic Howard Thurman, which reflects on Jesus' parable of the lost sheep, starting with the sheep's perspective. A sheep was enjoying his grass, and then when he started feeling chilly, he didn't recall, but the only thing that he remembers is that suddenly he became aware that he was cold, and there was a throwback in his mind and he realized that he had been cold for some time, but the grass was good. Then he looked around and he discovered that he was alone, that everybody had gone, that is, that all the sheep had gone, and he began crying aloud. And then the shepherd, who had many sheep, missed him when he got back to the fold, and the shepherd left his 99 to try to find this sheep that was lost. And Jesus says, God is like that. Nothing heavy and theological about that. Very little that is dogmatic, technically about it. Just that here is a shepherd who loves his sheep, and one of the sheep is doing the most natural thing in the world, and that is to eat the grass. Did it with such enthusiasm and over a time interval of such duration that he didn't know when the shepherd called and he was lost. And why was he lost? He was lost because he was out of touch with the group that had sustained him, the group that fed him, that gave him a sense that he counted. That's all. And as soon as he was out there alone, he said, I'm just here by myself, nothing but me and all of this, and I want to feel that I count with the others. There's a certain warmth in that. There's a certain something that is creative and redemptive about the sense of community, about the fellowship. And then Thurman speaks on the pain of being separated from our communities. Insulation is something that is spiritual. There's something inside of me that pulls up the drawbridge. Sometimes I do it because I'm afraid. Sometimes I do it because I'm clumsy and awkward and I don't know quite how to establish a relationship or relationships with my fellows that can float my spirit to them and bring their spirit to me. Now, Jesus says that God is like the shepherd, seeking always to find those who are out of community with their fellows. And when they have found it, when they have found their community with their fellows, then all the world seems to fit back into place and life takes on a new meaning. The lost sheep, the searching shepherd, and the cry of anguish of the sheep was the voice of identification that the shepherd heard. That is how God is if we let him.
Please rise as you're able. The Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 15. Glory to you, O Lord. Now all the tax collectors and sinners were coming near to Jesus. And the Pharisees and the scribes were grumbling and saying, This fellow welcomes sinners and eats with them. So he told them this parable. Which one of you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one that is lost until he finds it? When he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders and rejoices. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance. Or what woman having ten silver co coins, if she loses one of them, does not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it? When she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that I had lost. Just so, I tell you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you. Please be seated. And if you'd like to look at your bulletin, there's the hymn of the day, Lost is Found. And again, we're inviting you to, um, having heard three so far, and then joining in now on this fourth way of hearing the gospel, to think about what has captured your attention. Yeah, Milt's is going to do it. Yes, yes. Oh, and Rick okay. and Laura and, were you going to say something? We're, no. Oh, okay. I know, that's strange, <laughs> but I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> He's being silent and reflective and meditative and... I'm retired. <laughs> to give you a little heads up, watch your words, and we're just going to sing through the refrain once, so when you hear it later, you can join in. What once was lost is found, raise up a joyful sound, come now and celebrate, this one is home and safe. What once was lost is found, it's time to jump around, let happiness abound, for the lost is found. Can we try it together? Oh well, yeah, that's what that was. Could try the refrain together? What once was lost is found, raise up a joyful sound, come now and celebrate, this one is home and safe. What once was lost is found, it's time to jump around, let happiness abound, for the lost is found. So there's about four, six verses? Three plus or something. Yeah. What? Three and a half. Three and a half. So all the youth, all the youth that are here, when we get down to like the third verse and we're doing the reframe, we want you to like dance your way up to the front here. Okay? Got it? <coughs> okay, here we go. There was a hundred sheep in fields of green, and their shepherd loved them so. But one got lost inside a deep ravine, and didn't know how to get home. The shepherd sought the one who strayed, and wouldn't rest till he could say, what once was lost is found, raise up a joyful sound, come now and celebrate, this one is home and safe. What once was lost is found, it's time to jump around, let happiness abound, for the lost is found. 
There were ten precious coins a lady kept Until, until one, one day there were nine She ran around the house and carefully swept To seek the one she couldn't find And when at last the coin appeared She wanted everyone to hear What once was lost is found up a joyful sound come now and celebrate this one is home and safe what once was lost is found it's time to jump around let happiness abound for the lost is found oh oh, oh yes the lost is found There was a boy who left his father's home but found himself with pigs and mud. He came back sure that he had been disowned, though he was sad for what he'd done. But as in shame he hung his head, his father ran to him and said, what once was lost is found, comes up a joyful sound, come now and celebrate, this one is home and safe, what once was lost is found, it's time to jump around, let happiness abound, for the lost is found. Every day it's happening, the lost are found by the loving King, and as they turn from all their sin, listen, you can hear the angels sing. Here we go. What once was lost is found, rise up a joyful sound, come now and join the break. This one is home and safe, what once was lost is found, it's time to jump around, let happiness abound, for the lost is found. Oh, 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 oh. yes, the lost is found. to ask the, any council members to please come up and help with the blessing. Anybody in the space? The, we're going to bless the youth. There's a blessing of youth in the bulletin. We really appreciate you and we're glad you're here and we look forward to a really great year here at church. All of these adults that are coming up, they are in our leadership team. They're part of our council and um, we're going to have them, hi Sienna, we're going to have them, like, and we're going to have the congregation um, hold your hands up over our youth as a sign of blessing. Um, this is the blessing you can share there. So if everybody would turn to their bulletin. And Pastor Rita has to find hers. So we're going to do the blessing. So let's put our hands up. Like we're, we're asking God and the Holy Spirit to come down and descend upon you. And let us pray. Almighty, Almighty God, God, with a, with a mother's, mother's love and a father's, father's care, care, you have blessed us, us with the joy and responsibility of children. Of children. As, As we bring, bring them, them up, give us gracious, gracious love, calm strength, strength and patient wisdom. wisdom that we may teach them to love whatever is just and true and good, following the example of Jesus Christ, our Savior. As they enter a new school year, may they know your presence with them and that you love them. Amen. And you all know Jesus loves me? Let's sing Jesus loves me as we head back to our chairs. Okay? Jesus loves me, this I know. 
one person but I won't tell you who it is the blessing applies to all those that are well no more than one the blessing applies to those that are above um, 10, 10 years old also so pastor I saw on a marquee yesterday the words Jesus knows me this I love nice Jesus knows me, this I love, for the marquee out there tells us. <laughs> okay, with that, um, please rise as you're able, and we'll go into the Apostles' Creed. And the Apostles' Creed can be found on ELW 105. With the whole church, let us confess our faith. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As scattered grains of wheat are gathered into one bread, so let us gather our prayers for the church, those in need, and all of God's good creation. Your people receive mercy, and your grace overflows in our lives. Fill your church with faith and love, and give understanding hearts to those who work to strengthen our ecumenical and interreligious commitments. God of grace, hear our Amen. prayer. Your creation groans as it suffers the impacts of pollution and lack of care. As the seasons change, renew in us the will to protect plants, animals, and habitats. Bless us with bountiful harvests that all may share. God of grace, hear our prayer. Your world is shattered in the nation's rage. Remember us in your mercy. Teach wisdom to our elected leaders so that we may know peace in our world, peace in our homes, and peace in our hearts. God of grace, hear our prayer. Your children wander homeless and the hungry cry for bread. Seek out those who are lost or lonely, anxious or depressed, or struggling with addictions or illness. Provide for those in any need, especially those concerns we carry in our hearts. God of grace, hear our prayer. Your work is done in this congregation with our hands, feet, voices, minds, and hearts. Build up the ministries and heart of this community that we serve our neighbors and welcome the stranger in your name. God of grace, hear our prayer. Your blessed saints who have died now rest in your presence. Give us thankful hearts for those who have been examples of faith in our lives and receive us with joy when we come to share eternal life with you. God of grace, hear our prayer. Gathered together in the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, gracious God, we offer these and all our prayers to you through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you all. You. Take a moment, share signs of peace with each other, and then please be seated.
offertory prayer found in the bulletin. Gracious God, in your great love, you richly provide for our needs. Make of these gifts a banquet of blessing and make us ready to share with you. Through Jesus Christ, who sets a table for all. Amen. Please rise as you're able. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ, who on this day overcame death in the grave, and by his glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the host of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, blessed it, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Do this for the remembrance of me. And gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, we pray as our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Christ invites you to this table. Come, taste, and see. Please be seated. We will start a continuous communion with the organ side. to sing number 502 during communion, The King of Love My Shepherd Is.
think we're going. Please rise as you're able and join me in the prayer after communion. And we pray. God of the abundant table, you have refreshed our hearts in this meal with bread for the journey. 
Give us your grace on the road that we might serve our neighbors with joy. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And the blessing. God, who gives life to all things and frees us from despair, bless you with truth and peace. And may the Holy Trinity, one God, guide you always in faith, hope, and love. Amen. Our song is, Lord, speak to us that we may speak. Number 676. speak to us that we may speak in living echoes of your tone. As you have sought, so let us seek your straying children lost and lone. Oh, lead us, Lord, that we Go in peace with Christ beside you. Thanks be to God.